this short video, we will review the ability to export reinforcement from RISA 3D and RISA Floor using the RISA Revit 2019 link. So in my RISA model here, we already have uh, the results run. And so if we wanted to go look at the concrete reinforcement results, we can open up the concrete reinforcement spreadsheet and we can see the different beam bending, beam shear results, as well as the column bending and the column shear results. Now, if we wanted to look at some of these results in more detail, I can close out the spreadsheet and I can click the detail button and select either one of the columns to show the detail reinforcement or one of the beams. Now the reinforcement that's going to be sent to Revit uh, via the link will be this reinforcement that we find in the table in the concrete reinforcement table. Now at this point we can go ahead and save our model. So I'll save the results. And I'm going to choose to close uh, RISA and open Revit. So we have a blank model of Revit open. And so in this case I'm going to go ahead and change to the add-ins tab. And this is where we'll find our RISA Revit link. So I'll start by choosing the Import from RISA button. Now when I do that, I'm, in, I'm presented with uh, the different options for updating uh, a Revit model with information from RISA. And so I'm going to go ahead and select some of the elements that I want to link uh, with RISA. So I'm going to choose Project Grids, um, Beam End Reactions. I'm also going to choose in the Concrete Rebar Import to choose to import the rebar from columns and beams. Now I can also go and select my model. So if I choose Browse here, we can go ahead and pick, pick the structure that we're using. Now we can also import slab pedestals and footings. That information is from RISA Foundation, which we won't look at in this particular uh, example, but it's, it was uh, already available in the past. Now we can also look at some of the other advanced options. In this particular case, we're not going to pay any, any attention to those. Now when we're ready to go, uh, we can go ahead and click OK. We can choose if we want to save the model. We can say sure. And then the export will begin. Now during the import, we can see that we have the progress bar. The progress bar just shows us the steps, uh, including what's currently happening, um, and then the total progress of the entire import. We can also see that I've increased the speed of this video a bit, uh, just for the sake of time in this example. Now what's important in this case is that everything um, that we chose in the export, everything uh, related to concrete will be brought across. So the beams and the columns themselves and their cross sections, the materials, the reinforcement, all of this stuff will be brought based on uh, the results found in the concrete detailing spreadsheet. When the export is complete, we'll get a dialog box that will present itself. It'll show us any error messages that we may have encountered um, upon import. And we'll also see uh, the import summary, beams, columns, materials in this case. We could go ahead and open the log file, but in this case we can go ahead and just click OK. Now we can go ahead and look at the model. If we go ahead and turn on the wireframe here, we can go ahead and zoom in to see all the different column longitudinal and shear reinforcement as well as some of the beam longitudinal and shear reinforcement. If we go ahead and switch to one of our levels, so in this case I'll choose level 4. We can zoom in again, we'll switch to wireframe. And if we zoom in, we can see the different reinforcement here in a plan view. Now one of the things I like to do is I like to go to the view service and we can go ahead and add a section cut. And so if we just draw a section cut maybe through uh, a few of these beams here, we can go ahead and see then uh, the detailed information in the section cut. So we can see the information in these particular beams at these different levels. Now we can also view this information uh, by creating a schedule. And the schedule can include information from the, of the reinforcement and also the concrete beam sizes. For more information about the RISA Revit 2019 link, including downloads, training videos, and release notes, visit risa.com slash revit.